Yo guys, welcome to Ashton Fitness. Today I'm going to give you an at-home workout that you can do to build the strength needed to learn the L-sit if you're an absolute beginner. You don't need any equipment to do these exercises and they can be performed anywhere in your home. If you enjoy the video then remember to like and subscribe and if you really do enjoy it then share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter or whatever your favourite social media platform is so that they can learn how to L-sit too. The first exercise in this beginner L-sit workout is pseudo L-sit leg lifts. These are good for building the basic strength needed to unlock the L-sit as they work the triceps, shoulders, hip flexors, scapula and abdominal muscles which are all involved in holding the L-sit. To perform pseudo L-sit leg lifts, start with your hands in line with your torso and push your hands into the floor to lift your glutes. Keeping your back straight, lift each leg as high as you can and make sure to keep them straight throughout the lift. For this exercise, you want to do 3 sets of 20 reps, which is equivalent to 10 reps on each leg. If you can't do 20 reps then don't worry, do as many as you can while maintaining good form and increase the number of reps you perform as your strength increases over the weeks. If you can do 20 reps fairly easily, then you can make the exercise harder by walking your hands forward. The further forward you go, the more challenging the exercise will become. The next exercise in the workout is the seated tuck hold. The strength gained from this exercise translates really well into the L-sit because it mimics the very particular tension your abs and hip flexors are under when holding the L-sit. When you perform the seated tuck hold, make sure your back is straight, your knees are tucked into your chest and remember to breathe. For this exercise, you want to do 3 sets of 15 second holds. If the seated tuck hold is too easy for you, you can extend your legs out and lift them. The higher you lift your legs, the harder the exercise becomes, so experiment with different leg positions to see which is most appropriate for your current strength level. The third exercise in the workout is leg raises. This is one of the best ab exercises I can recommend for beginners because it helps you to build the foundational abdominal strength needed for many calisthenic skills, including the L-sit. In the case of the L-sit, it's a great exercise for conditioning your lower abs and hip flexors, so it's a good idea to get comfortable doing these. For this exercise, you want to do 3 sets of 10 reps. I'd recommend performing leg raises on a towel or something soft rather than doing them on the hard floor, as this just makes it a little bit more comfortable to perform the movement. Bro tip. A common mistake a lot of beginners make when doing leg raises is that they arch their lower back. This prevents your abs from engaging properly during the movement and can put a lot of stress on your lower back. Therefore, keep your back flat on the floor while doing leg raises to get the most benefit out of the exercise and avoid injury. You can test whether your back is truly flat by trying to slide a hand underneath it. If your fingers or hands can fit under your lower back, then you need to flatten it. If your lower back is flat, then you shouldn't be able to slide any fingers or hands underneath it. The fourth and final exercise in the workout is seated L-sit elevations. A very important but overlooked part of the L-sit is the scapular depression needed to elevate yourself off the floor. Because the L-sit requires you to push your shoulders down and depress your scapula to hold the position, it's a good idea to train the muscles that help to depress your scapulae with seated L-sit elevations. To perform this exercise, simply lift yourself up by pushing your hands into the floor and keep your back straight throughout the entire movement. For this exercise, you want to aim to do 3 sets of 10 reps. If these are too easy, you can walk your hands forward slightly and try the movement again. This will make the exercise more challenging and help you to build your strength further. So, to recap, the workout is as follows. First, start off with 3x20 pseudo L-sit leg lifts. Next, move on to 3x15 second seated tuck holds. After you've done those, move on to 3x10 leg raises, and then finish off the workout with 3x10 L-sit elevations. I recommend resting for 45 seconds to 1 minute between each set and 1.5 and to 2 minutes between exercises. If you like this tutorial and want to progress your L-sit strength further, then check out my How to L-sit tutorial. It includes a whole bunch of exercises and progressions that you can use to unlock a strong and controlled L-sit. Thank you for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video then let me know in the comments below and subscribe for more content like this. This has been Ashton with Ashton Fitness, now go train for that L-sit.